Aprilia Capinord 1200 Best Motorcycle Review, Twin Spar Aluminium. As the biking audience matures, demand continues to increase for adventure bikes like this 2013 to 2017 Aprilia Capinord 1200. Early in 2012 Triumph launched its new Explorer which took the coveted MCN Road Test Class crown. But since then Ducati has launched its new Skyhook Multistrada, the first to come with true semi-active suspension, while both KTM and BMW have introduced new models which have grabbed the MCN headlines. Related, Aprilia Capinord 1200 Rally Review. Related, Best Adventure Motorbikes. KTM's all-new adventure came in two guises, a standard, 19-inch front-wheel model and the more off-road Biastar with a 21-inch front wheel. BMW, meanwhile, also launched a newer 1200 GS, its most important bike in recent years, they admit, which also comes with semi-active suspension amongst a host of updates. Even Triumph has another entrant with their tweaked Tiger Sport. All the while, there's been one more newcomer in the background. Until now, Aprilia's new Capinord has gone almost unnoticed, which is a mystery considering its impressive spec. On paper it appears formidable, capable of being the leading bike in this segment, especially when we consider price. The full-spec travel pack version, which includes the ADD, Aprilia Dynamic Damping, semi-active suspension, is £3,000 less than the Ducati equivalent and also cheaper than a comparable BMW GS. Not only that, but the Aprilia suspension is more advanced than both the Ducati and BMW, and our short test ride showed it's very impressive, especially when ridden two up. I'm really taken aback by how good the new semi-active suspension is. Even in cold, very wet conditions, the suspension changes were noticeable. Ride quality and brakes. On paper it appears formidable, capable of being the leading bike in this segment, especially when we consider price. The full-spec travel pack version, which includes the ADD, Aprilia Dynamic Damping, semi-active suspension, is £3,000 less than the Ducati equivalent and also cheaper than a comparable BMW GS. Not only that, but the Aprilia suspension is more advanced than both the Ducati and BMW, and our short test ride showed it's very impressive, especially when ridden two up. I'm really taken aback by how good the new semi-active suspension is. Even in cold, very wet conditions, the suspension changes were noticeable. Unlike the Ducati and BMW systems, Aprilia's semi-active suspension ADD, adjusts preload on the rear automatically. If you add a pillion into the mix the system measures the extra weight, then calculates and compensates by adding preload. It's so clever it will actually reduce the preload as weight is reduced when you burn fuel from the large 24-liter petrol tank. If your other half loves shopping for shoes and sneaks a few pairs into the panniers without you noticing, the Capinord will detect the extra weight, recalculate and add more preload if required. How clever is that? Engine The 90 degree 1197 cubic centimeters V-twin is very similar to the engine used in Aprilia's Dorso Duro, but refined and remapped to give more mid-range performance. Maximum power is a quoted 125 brake horsepower at 8500 rpm and maximum torque is 85 FTLB at 6500 rpm. At low speeds the big V-twin was a little snatchy below 3000 rpm, such as around town in second gear. In higher gears, or as the revs increase above 3000, it does smooth out. Aprilia are quoting 125 brake horsepower from the 1,197 cubic centimeters, liquid-cooled V-twin, and the spread of torque is lovely. It also sounds good from the single, side-mounted exhaust, which can be raised when you remove the panniers to increase ground clearance. There are three different engine maps, Touring, Sport and Rain, which can be changed on the move via the start button and come as standard. Rain mode limits power to 100 brake horsepower which is more than enough to have fun, and in the tricky conditions was still enough to get the traction control working if you're brutal enough with the throttle. Reliability and build quality The Capinord shares a very similar motor to the Dorso Duro which has been proven over recent years without any major reported problems or nightmares. Sax controls the suspension and electronics which have had extensive testing and should be glitch-free. Overall, the level of quality and components used is high. The only slight downfall is the amount of UK dealers for parts and servicing, therefore check where your local dealer is. Our Aprilia Capinord owner's reviews show a very positive score, with no prevailing problems to report. 
value versus rivals. Considering the amount of technology which has gone into the Capinord and the level of components used the asking price of just under £13,000 seems reasonable and cheaper than the comparable competition with a similar spec, like Ducati's Multistrada which is over £15,000. Equipment For the full spec bike with semi-active suspension you need to opt for the Travel Pack model, priced at just under £13,000. For this you get traction control, electronic suspension, ABS, different fuel maps, panniers, and Brembo brakes. The standard model doesn't come with the active suspension. The Aprilia comes with a huge 24-liter fuel tank, the largest in this segment of adventure bikes. The Capinord is also iPhone compatible with a built-in USB socket and Bluetooth. By downloading an Aprilia Capinard app you can store the bike's data, like wheel speed, RPM or the amount of traction control intervention and also watch this information live as the bike has a top yoke bracket to accommodate your iPhone. There's also a huge list of accessories, as you'd expect for a touring model, 